how I motivate myself and how I always stay on top of my game and achieve my goals. I can help you out. I can help you out. Let me start by telling you that it's not easy. I'm going home. <laughs> It took me a while to get here. So hopefully by me giving you guys some tips, I hope that you can learn something from my process and you can add it to yours so that you can get to where you need to be a lot quicker. The cadet's logic is sound. So first and foremost, I start off my days with a positive attitude. And yeah, I know, I know, I know that this does sound kind of cheesy. Damn right. So, But if I'm being honest with you guys, it really works. Each and every single day when I wake up, I remind myself about my passions, exactly what I am working towards. And what that does is it puts me in the perfect mindset going into the day. So it's very simple. What I'll do is I'll get up, take a couple of deep breaths, fill my system with some oxygen, then stretch out my body, visualize my goals, or better yet, exactly what I want to do throughout the day. What are my goals for that day? And that's the thing. It may sound really simple, but in actuality, that's the key. It's making simple little changes to how you are doing things that can best put you in the mindset to achieve the things that you want to achieve. The next thing I want to do is I want to flood my mind with some positivity. So what I'll do is I'll listen to some podcasts, I'll listen to some motivational tapes. It's basically something that I'm passionate about and it allows my brain to start switching on, to start getting itself ready for what I am going to try and achieve throughout the day. This means staying away from negative news, staying away from social media for a bit because all that's going to do is it's negatively going to affect my mood in the morning. And I'm a firm believer that the way you start of your morning is how you continue throughout out the day so in my mind I just want to start of my day in the best possible way now I will start planning it so this is basically setting realistic goals for what I need to achieve within the day so I'll take a look at my day I'll figure out exactly what are the three most important things that needs to be done today I like to think of it as something that I would need to do for work something I would need to do for myself and something that I can do if the time allows it. That's why we've got a lot to do today. If you can find three things like that throughout your day, then it's going to make you look at each and every single day as a challenge. And once you start looking at it as a challenge, it becomes something that you can then overcome. Once you overcome it, it's going to create this exciting feeling in you where you can't wait for the next day's challenges and the next day's challenges because then you just can't wait to overcome them. So do you see the psychology in all of that? I, I, I see what you did there. But at the same time, you need to understand that you can't set your goals to moving mountains. You need to break down everything into small, achievable steps. And this can be absolutely anything that you want to achieve throughout the day. And then one little thing that I like to do is I like to take out a little pen, a little book, and actually write down whatever I need to do throughout the day. Because what this does is it gives me a constant reminder throughout the day of the things that I want to achieve, of the things that is important and things that I want to do. Once you actually finish off the things, you just get this satisfying feeling because you know that you have accomplished something throughout the day. And once you have like a list of 10 things that you maybe wanted to do and you actually go through each and every single one of those things, I can promise you that you're going to be left feeling pretty satisfied by the end of the day. I am awesome! Uh. And lastly, it's important to remember that motivation is not a constant state. We are constantly going to have our ups and our downs, our highs and our lows, and we need to accept that that's okay. Whenever I'm feeling unmotivated, I like to take a step back and remind myself of why I started in the first place, why I decided that I want to be more productive. I remind myself about that. I ask myself, what's the worst that could happen if I give up right now? And then what's the best thing that can happen if I just decide to do this thing that I put my mind to? And then that usually does the trick and helps me get back on track. So there you have it guys, that's just a few things that I do throughout the day to always keep myself motivated. And always remember this guys, a little bit of motivation in the morning goes a long way. So try your best to put yourself in the right mindset each and every single morning as soon as you wake up. You will not believe the results. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. It's been amazing. I am Ty. This is The Talk and you are totally awesome. Don't be a stranger